stone buns and dams have to be accurately adapted to the ground in order to control soil erosion. To avoid crops being damaged when the soil is saturated by water, they should be permeable in order to evacuate surplus rainwater. If they are not built correctly, stone devices can be harmful to crops and even speed up soil erosion. The farmers who received such training, 2,000 of them, one-third of them women, assist their neighbors and train them in turn. Therefore, within a relatively short time, many people become familiar with these techniques. One of the major roles of Patakor is to ensure that villages have enough trucks to move the stones around. Not long ago, the project was enabled to meet all the villagers' demands for daily truckloads, even though the trucks already travelled more than 20,000 times from the quarry to the work sites during each campaign. Since 1994, this bottleneck has been overcome through an additional component to the project funded by the Kreditanstalt für Wiederaufbau, KFW, which provides trucks and takes care of their maintenance. Taking into account the poor transport facilities in the country, the organization of stone transport following the request of 300 villages is a continual challenge. This requires the use of modern technologies and a continued presence in the villages in order to reduce to a minimum shortcomings caused by breakdowns or organizational problems. Patakor is a support project. Its staff is made up of civil servants seconded from the Ministry of Agriculture and Animal Resources, local personnel, long-term GTZ experts, European volunteers, as well as consultant engineers. The strategy for the intervention of this small group of specialists is based on the principle of support to implementing partners namely the decentralized technical services from the Ministry of Agriculture and Animal Resources and from the Ministry of Environment and Water Supply, as well as of about 20 non-governmental organizations and associations working in the project intervention zone. This support is provided in the form of training and refresher courses designed for their agents and made up of running subsidies in order to facilitate their involvement at village level. It is by using this partnership network that Patakor succeeds in mobilizing and supporting the population in more than 300 villages which are engaged in combating desertification. Today, each household demands to be taken into account in the building of anti-erosion structures. Protecting cropland has now become a habit. Soil and water conservation activities have become part of the annual working schedule, like sowing and harvesting. Farmers, in addition to physical anti-erosive control devices, also used biological measures to stabilize stone lines. Once the lands have been protected, 
Farmers practice additional cultivation techniques aimed at improving soil fertility, such as mulching and the application of organic manure. Farmers are also interested in agroforestry activities, such as controlled clearing or assisted natural regeneration. But the villagers do not make individual investments for preservation of non-arable lands, such as silvo-pastoral areas, which are used for the collection of wood and where cattle graze. That's why Patakor has been trying for a few years to foster land management, which includes all parts of village land. It is only in raising village capacities in organization, planning and decision making that the execution of anti-erosion measures can be improved and villagers can come to an agreement over regulations regarding the use of pasture and forest land within their boundaries. The techniques of protected areas or of zones with regulated access are measures which illustrate the kind of actions required to promote the sustainable use of natural resources and the preservation of the environment. But as yet, there is no recipe or single approach that fits all situations. Therefore, Patakor has no other alternative except to develop appropriate models, strategies and concepts and to try them out together with the villagers. This starts with better planning. Simple planning tools should help clarify objectives, to identify appropriate activities and to plan them in space and time. To this effect, villagers are trained by Patakor to use tools such as sketches designed on the ground, but also aerial photographs and planning tables. This helps to analyze problems and potentials, as well as facilitating ongoing discussions in the shade of palava trees or sheds. What resources do we have? What can we do to get quality, cultivatable lands in the future? Where and when can we get them? How can we still provide firewood and pastures for the future? Decisions have to be made. New land use rules have to be set up and their enforcement organized. These are the issues which are discussed with villagers during joint planning sessions. Desertification control won't be overcome by technical measures alone. New flexible farming systems, which continuously adjust to evolving social, natural and cultural conditions should be developed. Only local populations can develop them, since they must ensure their survival and become responsible for their future. According to Patakor, its main task today consists in assisting local populations to overcome such challenges.